Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be watching Red vs. Blue for the first time. Now, Rooster Teeth, I just seen they shut down the other day, so I thought, you know what, let me pay respects and watch a series of theirs I've never watched. Now, I do want to say, if you guys do want to see Red vs. Blue completely unedited and early, check it out over on the Patreon link down below. Hopefully, I can watch Red vs. Blue unedited, but they didn't allow me to watch their series Ruby unedited, but I don't know if that's because it's, like, partnered with Country Rolls. I'm going to try to post it unedited to the YouTube channel um but hey if you guys like red versus blue i have it on my schedule i'm gonna be doing even more videos on it so hey make sure to like and subscribe if you like red versus blue and let's get into it i always seen this on netflix but i never checked it out so we better see what this is about hey let's all blue okay griff I always wanted to watch it because it's about Halo, but my goddamn Netflix subscription ran out when I was younger. Simmons? Donut? Oh, nah. Okay, we got Team Blue over here. Tucker? What's good, Tucker? Church? Tex? Man, these are very unique names. Gaboose? Caboose? Sheila? Wait, the headlight's name is Sheila? Lopez? Is this a first episode just like an introductory? Oh shoot, who's this? <laughs> what? God damn, this, this does feel like OG YouTube right here. OG YouTube animations. Red vs. Blue, Season 1. Okay. I wonder what the actual, like, story is about. Wait, there's a yellow one. Hey. Yeah? You ever wonder why we're here? It's one of life's great mysteries, isn't it? Why <laughs> are we here? I mean, are we the product of some cosmic coincidence, or... Good question, really honestly. Not, I'd be wondering it. God's got me. God's got me, everyone. What? I mean, why are we out here in this canyon? Oh. Uh. <laughs> Bro went on a speech about, hey, this is life's biggest mystery. Is there a God? Is there just no purpose? And dude's like, nah, dude, what the frick? Why are we on this canyon right now? Yeah. Y'all are on oh, station, bro. Uh, huh? nothing. <laughs> Y'all just don't yeah, like each other for no reason. Fighting each other. No, no, but I mean, even if we were to pull out today, and they were to come take our base, they would have two bases in the middle of a box canyon. What and it, they fucking do? What's up with that anyway? I mean... I guess that's that's really like real life war though, in a nutshell. It's like, hey, y'all just got more territory, but... Then the I other place now. Aliens. Next thing I know, Master just depends on the intent, I guess. Y'all trying to take I'm over the world? Which team's good? Or is is the, is the moral of the story that there is what? no good? I said, what are they doing now? <clears throat> God damn, I'm getting so sick of answering that question. You have a fucking rifle, I can't see shit. Don't bitch at me because I'm not going to just sit up here and play with my dick. Okay, okay, look. Whoa, are these mics like ironically bad or is it just because this was made like 15 years ago? They're just standing there and talking, okay? That's all they're doing. That's they're just talking about life, man. Let, let them enjoy their break. Talk. Let me guess, they're not going to be standing there. What are they talking about? You know what? I fucking hate you. <laughs> Dang. About a waste of resources. I mean, Didn't have to do them like that. There, find a new and intelligent forms of life. You know, fight them. Yeah, no shit. That's why they should put us in charge. Ladies! Front and center on the double! Oh, they got a Sarge? Fuck. Yes, sir. Hello, everyone. Up, Episode 2. There ain't no ice cream social. Ice cream social. Is there a reason this guy's this is very clearly to me not red? 
Why is he on Team Red? Uh, He's like yellowish, right? <laughs> anyone want to guess why I gathered you here today? No. Uh, is it because the war's over and you're sitting at home? No, Sarge. Exactly. It, oh. Private. What? War's over. We won. Turns out you're the big hero. Uh, he's he's busting his chops. I get to drive the float, and Simmons here is in charge of confetti. I'm no stranger to sarcasm, sir. Yeah, <laughs> damn it, Private. Shut your mouth, or else I'll have Simmons slit your throat while you're asleep. Damn. I do it too. I know you would. Simmons, Simmons an op, Loki. Couple of things today, ladies. Command has seen fit to increase our ranks here at Blood Gulch Outpost. Okay. Crap. We're getting a rookie. That's right, dead man. Oh, who's the new guy going to be? The will be here within the week. But today, we received the first part of our shipment from Command. Okay. Lopez, bring up the vehicle. Hey. Shotgun, shotgun. Fuck. May I introduce... <laughs> Our new light reconnaissance vehicle. Bro. Four inch armor blade. Shotgun. Mag buffer. That's actually dope. A mounted machine gunner. It's literally just a, a, a normal Halo car, though. For three. Gentlemen, this is the M12. So, was this animated? Was this even animated? Or was this like in like. Was there like a goddamn video camera thing in Halo? Because it kind of looks like the movements from the game, honestly. Um, but it could still be animated. I don't know. It kind of looks to me like they put, like, a, a camera in the game. I don't know if there was that option in Halo. I never tried to do it. Um, but this is honestly making me realize how much I really miss playing Halo 3. I, I actually might. I actually might go back and play Halo 3 because that's my all-time favorite Halo. Um, if you guys are, like, familiar, like, of course, outside of Red vs. Blue, I know a lot of people watching might be Red vs. Blue fans. What is your guys' favorite Halo game? Just let me know. I'm actually interested because mine's always been three. It's the only one I've beaten multiple times. So, yeah. Just got fond memories of that. I like to call him the Warthog. Why Warthog? Warthog, sir? Because M12 LRV is too hard to say in conversation, son. No, but why Warthog? I mean, it doesn't really look like a pig. Say that again. I think it looks more like a puma. What in Sam hell is a puma? Uh, you mean like the shoe company? Oh my god. Like a puma. It's a big cat. Like a lion. You're making that up. I'm telling you, it's a real animal. This is how conversations actually sometimes be. Yes, sir. Look, see these two toe hooks? They look like tusks. And what kind of animal has tusks? An elephant? A walrus. Didn't I just tell you to stop making up animals? <laughs> What is that thing? I don't know. I mean, it looks like, uh, looks like they got some kind of car down there. We better get back to base and report it. A car? How can they get a car? What are you complaining about, man? We're about to get a tank in the very next drop. You can't pick up chicks in a tank. Facts. You know what? You could bitch about anything, couldn't you? Actually, technically, if if you were rolling down the street in a tank, I may, maybe. Maybe you could get a girl. Like hop in the tent. Nah, I, I don't know. I don't know. You just get a ni really nice car, I guess. Yeah, y'all are in the middle of the desert. How are you gonna pick up chicks in a car that looks like that? What kind of car is it? No, I've never seen a car like that before. Now, that car actually looks kind of fire. Like a big cat of some kind. What, like a puma? Yeah, man. There you go. Oh my Unless God. If anybody has any more <laughs> creatures to suggest as a name for the new vehicle, we're gonna stick with the warthog. How about it, Griff? That's Fair cool. enough. No more suggestions. Are you sure? How about Bigfoot? It's okay. Unicorn? No, really. Uh, Bigfoot? Sasquatch? Is it just me, or, or would Bigfoot be kind of a cool name for a car? I, I, I would cop a Bigfoot. He doesn't need help, man. Phoenix? Uh, Christ. Hey, damn it. What's the name of that Mexican lizard? He told the goats. Uh, that would be the Chupacabra, sir. Hey, Griff. Chupa thingy. How about that? I like it. Got a I like Sarge. I like Sarge. Phoenix, fellow web sir. Is Episode three, baby. Just a new character. Donut. Sirs.
You were such a kid. <laughs> also, he told me if I had any trouble from you, I should <clears throat> get in the warthog and crush your head like a tomato can. I got a feeling that's a lie. That's the worst impression I've ever heard. Okay, rookie, what's your story? Private donor reporting for duty, sir. I'm ready to fight some aliens. Oh, Y'all don't fight aliens out here. Private donut? I think somebody needs a new nickname. Secondly, put the armor. She be donuts. A, donuts a W name. Red. Yeah, I know. Listen, only two kinds of people wear standard issue armor: officers and recruits. And since you're not threatening to gut me like a fish, you're probably not an officer. Well, he's wearing red armor. No, my armor is maroon. Your armor. God damn! I just, bro, my subscriber notification jump scares me sometimes. <laughs> Honestly, blue team kind of feels like more chill, but red seems more funny. <laughs> oh, they got their tank. No, you can. Hey, Private Donut, here's the deal. I just refuse to call him Private Donut. We've got a very it's his name. for you. You think you can handle it? Absolutely. We need you to go to the store and get two quarts of elbow grease. What? And uh, pick up some headlight fluid for the Puma, too. The what? He means the warthog. Oh, they're cleaning up the uh, car or making what? it look nice. Yeah, yeah, of course I do. Sure, no problem. Well, get going then. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, this definitely has to be in the game because of how they move. How long do you think until he figures out there's no store? I say at least a week. Elbow grease? How stupid do they think I am? Once I get back to base with that headlight fluid, I'm gonna talk to the sergeant. Ooh, Donut's a little smarter than he looks. We can definitely pick up chicks in this thing. Probably two or three chicks apiece. Oh man, listen to you. What are you gonna do with two chicks? Church. Women are like Voltron. The more you can hook up, the better it gets. <laughs> Damn. All right. <laughs> they moving mad in this. We're too mean to the kid. No, nah, I, I, I'm with the guy from before. You cannot pick up a chick in a tank. I, I don't know, bro. Unless like it's just cool to have a tank now. <laughs> nah, he'll just wander around on the cliffs for a few hours. What's the worst that could happen? Finally, there it is. Oh, sweet. Donut, you're being such a donut, bro. He's heading over to Blue Base. Episode four. Yeah, I'll let you head noob in charge. I've, uh, I've actually got a girl back home. Okay. Uh, girlfriend or wife? No, man. She's just my girlfriend. You know, we were gonna get married, but I got shipped out. And, uh, you know how it works. Damn. So, uh, are you gonna marry her when you get back? I'm not gonna get married. My dad always said. Okay, caboose. Buy the cow when you can get the milk for free. Hey, rookie. <laughs> oh my god, did you just call my girlfriend a cow? Uh oh. No, I think he called her a slut. Oh. I could sit out here and uh -oh. you insult my girlfriend all day long. But as it turns out, I got a lot more important job for you to do. Great. See, we've got this general. Right, the general guy. Who likes to come by and make random inspections of bases. Okay. So what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you go in the base. And stand right next to the flag at attention, just in case he decides to come by. When is he coming by? We would never know. Could be today, could be a week from now. Y'all are just going to make him stand there? Stand at attention for a week? That's no, messed up. You don't sound very grateful. This is the most important job at the whole base. You're, You're messing with them. Here with the flag. What's so important about the flag? Oh, come on. Don't they teach you guys? It is kind of interesting that both Team Red and Team Blue are, like, going through the same exact thing right now. Like, they both just got new recruits. They both just got new, uh, vehicles. And, uh, they both have an annoying sergeant. <laughs> like, that's funny. They didn't tell us anything about a flag. Or have we seen Blue's sergeant? So I don't because think so. it's the flag, man. You know, it's the, it's the flag. It's, yeah. Tucker, you tell them why the flag is so important. Well, it represents Team Blue. complicated. 
It's blue. We're blue. It's just important, okay? Trust us. So when the general comes by, the first thing he's going to want to do is inspect the flag. Right. So just go in there, you know. Far, far away, away from, from us. And wait for him. Wow, y'all really sending this dude? I I see him? There's only three oh my of god. Here, rookie. He's one of the guy that doesn't look like one of us. Now get in there and don't come out. Oh my gosh, he's gonna think Donut is the sergeant. That is gonna be hilarious. Man, that guy is that you are. <laughs> wow. He's dumber than you are. Wow, Tucker. That was a great comeback. Uh, <laughs> For real. Mr. Church, sir. Oh my god. What? Tucker, I swear, I'm gonna kill him. Sorry about calling your girl a slut. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! You're driving me crazy! Get in there! <laughs> That's pretty funny. Laughing at me? Excuse me, sir. Can I ask you a question? Dear God in heaven, rookie, if I turn around and you are not inside, I, I can't be held responsible for what I'm going to do to you. What did I do? One. Oh, give me a break. Two. Fine. Wow. You got here fast. Why is everybody so freaking rude in this canyon? I'm not, sir. What can I do for you? Finally. Someone with a little respect around here. Yes, sir. I assume you're here because... That genuinely worked out perfectly for Donut. That's so hilarious. Because if those two saw him, they would have known who he was. But just perfectly, this guy wouldn't, man. That's hilarious. Wait, is this all you have? Uh, yes, sir. That's it. Oh, man. This figures. Shit. What about elbow grease? Um, headlight fluid? No. All we have is the flag. Well, I can't go back empty-handed. I guess I'll take that. Sure. <gasps> that makes sense. I guess. Man, they're going to give me so much shit for coming back with just this stupid flag. <laughs> well, enough gabbing out of us. That's Let's bad, man. Out for a spin. Go ahead and hop in, Tucker. Me? Is this like what's going to pop off the war, the flag being stolen? I don't even know how to use the fucking sniper rifle. Don't you know how to drive that? No. Holy crap! Who is running this army? <laughs> hey! Just wanted to let you know, the general stopped by and picked up the flag! Yeah, okay. Whatever, moron. Why would they give us a tank if nobody here knows how to drive the damn thing? That's a good point. Wait a second. What did he just say? What's up forever? Yeah, he said, wait a second. He picked up the flag? He doesn't pick, pick it up. He just freaking checks it. Our flag. Is that bad? Bad? Oh no, that's not bad. Next time he comes over, why don't you just help him blow up the whole goddamn base? There, there he is. Where? Oh yeah, oh I got him. He's sneaking around back behind the cliffs. He, must he literally just said. He literally just said that he doesn't even know how to use the damn sniper rifle. One smart son of a bitch. Oh man, I am so freaking lost. Where the hell is the it's funny because I see the dynamic of just all of them being idiots. Look at his armor. It's red. Oh man, that means it's their sergeant. Well, that makes sense. At least now we know how he got by our defenses. Uh, nope. You know, He's just the new guy. Came in the back door where you guys were standing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, let's take him out then. Roger that. Okay. Say good night, Sarge. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Really not very good with that thing. Why don't you do it? Hey, Why don't you do it, Tucker? Hey, don't shoot! I'm the guy that bought the flag, remember? Oh, great. Now he's taunting us. <laughs> it's just embarrassing. All right, that is funny, man. I've had it. Rookie, you stay here. Me and Tucker will head to the teleporter. We'll cut him off. They're the literally path. just right. a bunch of idiots. Tucker, you ready? Let's this go. is too perfect. There is no way I'm going through that thing. Tucker, we don't have time for this. Why would they give us a teleporter if it doesn't work? I don't know. Why would they give us a tank that no one can drive? <laughs> Facts. We already tested the teleporter, remember? I'm starting to think they're just being set up at this point. We but I also think they're just idiots. Yeah, and so what? The rocks came out the other side, didn't they? Yeah, but they were all hot and covered with black stuff. Oh, so I guess that's what this is all about then. You're afraid of a little black stuff. Yes, I am. 
I am afraid of black stuff. Tucker, I almost hate to do this to you. You wouldn't. You know, I look at it this way. Either A, we go through there and get the flag back, or B, we stay where, here. Wait, where does the teleporter see. lead? Either way, I win. For the record, I want you to know, rocks aren't people. Duly noted. Now get in there. Crap. Why didn't they just send right. the rookie in? One, two. Oh. Did it work? I don't think that worked. Huh. Imagine he just died. We just never see him yeah. in the show again. I've uh, I've decided I'm not gonna use the teleporter. That is messed up. Okay, rookie, you stay here. I'll be back with the flag. I still have no idea what you're talking about. I didn't hear any shots. <sighs> I'm telling you, it was four shots. Like bam, 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 bam. bam. Wait a second. That's only three bams. Bam. Wait a second. We got a blue guy on the move out there. Where's he headed? Oh, crap. It's, it's Donut. <laughs> He's got donut! It looks like... Simmons. Get the Warthog. You mean the Puma? <laughs> you mean the Puma? Okay. Well, that's where I'm going to go ahead and leave off, guys. Hey, if y'all enjoyed, man, y'all see it on the screen right now. Subscribe to the channel, man. I'm going to be reacting to more Red vs. Blue very, very soon. I think I'm going to do, like, one or two reactions a week or something like that with just getting down a couple of episodes. Honestly, this just is, like, even though I didn't watch it, it's still kind of a nostalgia trip because this really does represent what the internet was like a long, long time ago, you know? just all the series like this and i'm i'm very sad that i never watched it but uh at least i get to enjoy it for the first time now and i really did decide to start this because after seeing rooster teeth shut down i don't know it just kind of hit because i've been enjoying ruby lately and i just i always feel bad when i just miss out on something that i end up enjoying later because i i i miss the initial wave like if i would have watched this a couple years ago um along with ruby i would have gotten the wave of people who also enjoyed it enjoyed it with everybody else what was currently happening but I guess for loads of people, it's nostalgic for you, and it's just a new experience for me. But I really love being a part of something while it's happening. So I'm a little sad I'm late, but it is what it is, man. I, I still think I'm going to have a fun time with the series. I don't know how long it is. I think it is 20, 20 seasons. It might actually be 20 seasons, uh, I think. It might even be more. I don't remember. I know it's a very long show, so it'll take a long time for me to catch up anyways. So, hey, maybe we'll build a little red versus blue audience on the channel. Who knows? Um, but, yeah, I, I really just want to say, if y'all do want me to continue it, subscribing is the best option. If I see I gain subscribers off this video, I know there's a community still here for it and that I should do it. I have up until, like, episode 20 planned this month to do. So, yeah, that's what we got planned so far. If I notice that we this does good, I will continue after, but... Yeah, what I noticed so far is it, it, it kind of just seems to me like both teams are idiots. You know what I'm saying? They're kind of just put in the station and they and neither of them know what they're doing. They could just stand out here, make money for all they care. I don't think they're emotionally invested in this red versus blue war. They're just kind of the idiots on the outpost that are just there to be there. I was going into this thinking we were going to have like an all-out war at first, but it, it kind of seems like more of a comedy than an action. I'm sure... It'll get into action as they introduce more characters, and like I'm sure this whole is is actually gonna cause a war with the flag and all that. That's my guess. But uh, I like both teams. I, I don't have I don't have a side. I mean I like the color red. My channel art is mainly red. I love red. It's my favorite color. So I'm kind of low key team red, but I don't mind team blue either. They're like both just funny. Uh, I like both scenes with them seem like pretty cool characters my favorite character so far I'm gonna have to go with donut donut. You know, he's just he's just an idiot <laughs> Like He walked into the blue station where his he walked into the opposition's team and just stole their flag on accident He seems like the type of guy who's gonna be like really good, but it's all completely by accident I'm done here guys um like i said if you enjoyed like subscribe turn on all the post notifications and i will see you guys in the next red versus blue video peace